That's unbelievable. Here's the 1 1. High towering fly ball left field. Cespedes is lost it initially. Rajay on the run as well. Davis leaping. Rajay with a catch. Oh, what a play. Aaron Shipman will get his first opportunity here in game four. And you'd have to say he's been a non factor here these first three games. And if they're going to have any chance of moving on, he's going to have to step up his game. They need him to help anchor this attack, and he's been absent so far. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. First pitch, 7.07. Now the pitch. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 now. Temperature here at game time, 61 degrees. This one's over at the knees, two and one. Well, you figure that curveball is going to be an important pitch for him going forward. Yeah, I think it might even tell the story of how well he fares here tonight because he's going to need to mix his speeds against a lineup like this. But once they start sitting on pitches, it could be trouble. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. Buck Britton gets his first shot here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And you know, guys, we talk about it all the time. Lead-off walks are so dangerous. And we'll see if they can take advantage of this one. Swing and a miss with a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. The one thing to keep an eye on as this game goes along, first pitch strikes. The more this guy can work from ahead, the better off he's going to be. A runner at first with no outs here. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Let's check out that pitching sequence right here. It's not a whole lot to it. He gets him started with good morning. And there's good afternoon. And here it is. Good night. Three pitch strike out in here. Not going to get him much easier than that. Daniel Robertson will stand in. And this pitching staff has kept his bat silent throughout the series so far. Yeah, just two hits for him so far. But you got to figure he's due. I don't think they're going to hold him down all series long. Fastball in there for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Runner at first here, one man out. Nope. Off speed pitch here, but it dips below the knees, evening us at 1 and 1. No off.
offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but he made a pan out. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Off speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to 3 and 1. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. That's the second walk he's allowed here in the first inning. And I have a feeling if you ask his manager, he's going to say that that's way too many already. You can't go giving away base runners, or you're going to find yourself in a big hole early on. Nunez will dig in now, and he's picked the wrong time of year for his bat to go silent. Yeah, just one hit in the series so far for him, and they're going to have to get more out of his bat. He's got to make sure he doesn't press up there, or that average is going to continue to go south. Oh, 1 gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2 boy no fear in that location he just ramped up and threw it right by him runners are at first and second with one away checked his swing there did he go around no says the first base umpire ball one Line hard. Foul. Foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Well, this curveball, it just disappears. He thinks he's right on it at the plate. Look where it winds up. Completely out of the zone. That's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes. Mark Krause will get a shot here, and he's looking to get off the schneid. Hitless in the series so far. And he's an important guy to get going. If they're going to have any chance in this series, you really need to start getting a little more involved. to escape unscathed here in the first. In there, strike one. Well, and he's having some problems here with location. He's got two on already here in the first, and that last pitch right down the middle. Two down, runners at first and second. Grounded to third. Scooped up. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Yeah, and that's a two-out error right here in the first inning. Now, you hate to prolong any inning, but especially the first one. Now you're going to force your guy to face another dangerous hitter in this inning when he should be relaxing in the dugout. Christian Walker has a golden opportunity to give his guys the lead as he stands in with three men aboard. And Matt, it's early in this game, but this is a big moment right here. It doesn't matter when you score your runs, just that you score more in the end. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Yeah, definitely taken all the way. Not a bad idea with the bases loaded. Fastball called for strike two. Well, this would be a big break for him here in the first inning if he can get out of this. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Bottom of the first, straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show.
number five will stand in to start things out with his guys pretty fortunate to get out of that last half inning with the game still scoreless. Yeah, they were able to dodge a bases loaded situation. That could have gotten out of hand quickly, so maybe they can calm their guy down a bit by getting a couple runs here. Hit on the ground to short. Robertson takes it in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Yeah, probably not an ideal at-bat from your leadoff hitter here in the first. You'd like him to stretch that count a little, try and work his way on base. Instead, he rolls over on the first pitch, and he's gone before you know it. Number 25 digs in here for his first appearance. Here's the first pitch to him. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. That first pitch is going to be key all night long. If he gets ahead early with the fastball, that's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. Grilled right back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Stepping in now, number 40, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runners on first with one down. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Carlos Peguero will stand in now for the first time coming off, well, nothing short of a dynamic performance last time out. Well, it makes you wonder how they're going to attack him here in this game. I would bet that they're a lot more cautious with him. First offering on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over. And he's able to jump ahead. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. And, and on 0-2, and I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. First and second now, one man out. Hit back up the middle. Played on the backhand. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Justin Henry will dig in here, and it's been a series to forget for him so far as you see the numbers there. And with these guys just one game away from going home, he may not have too many more opportunities to turn things around. He's got to make every at-bat count from here on out. Into the windup and the pitch. Yeah. Curveball looked at here for strike oh, one. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Number 17 will get a chance here. And you see the numbers for the series. He just has not gotten going yet. 
now. And if they're going to get back in this series, they're going to need him to get back in the groove because this pitching staff has buried him so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. No score here as we play inning number two. In there at the knees, 0-2 oh, now. Two Chop foul with the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. That's now three straight strikeouts going back to last inning. And whatever he's thrown, it's working up there. Ken Favreau. Stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Nope. Now a change up to start him out but that's looked at down and in for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. And, oh. and with two away here, this is not the time to lose the strike zone. Especially not to a number nine hitter. The last thing you want to do is turn this lineup over and give these guys a shot to make something out of this inning after all. 3-0 and oh now. The figure he's taken now on the three ball count. Maybe even taken two. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he goes back to the cutter here. Three and two. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put one in play. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Uh, not a real good sign here. Already his third walk of the ball game this early on. And that's a sign to me may not have brought his A game to the ballpark. He's had to work awfully hard out there so far. Aaron Shipman will dig in now hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two out walk. Yeah, nothing going on earlier in this inning, but a chance to make some noise right here. Those kind of walks often seem to come back and fight guys somehow. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0-1. Not a swing born of a lot of confidence right there. And sometimes you get a little anxious at the plate. You get out in front a little bit, and then the ball just disappears on you, and you got nothing. And he falls behind 0-2. looking to put him away here's the 0-2 got him looking and that ends the inning Brett Hayes will lead things off here as they'll have five six and seven due up to start the home second Brett Hayes. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. No, 
changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Rabal. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Didn't have a whole lot of choice there on 2-0. He had to go after it. But when you leave that ball out over the plate, this can be the result. You know, that's what being patient and waiting for your pitch will get you. Standing in, Hernandez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. You make a mistake up to this guy? going to make you pay. This pitch is belt high and he just jumps all over it and drives it into the alley to put runners on second and third. Now. Number seven will stand in and you see the numbers for the series so far. He's really been one of their unsung heroes. Well, it seems like in just about every series you get that one guy who really steps up and he's been that guy so far. as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. And the run is in to score from third. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. Number 43 will get his first cuts here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. Boy, the hits just keep on coming here. You see the highlighted column right there. That's six against him already, and we're just in the second inning. Into the box now, Mike Durham, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch. And that misses inside 1-0. and Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. First and second here with nobody out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Henry over to his right, one out. Number five. Number five will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. right center Shipman shading to his right and he brings it in for the second out of the inning now batter, number 25 number 25 gets a shot now with deuces all around two on two out here in inning number two Looking to minimize the damage here. Hit in the air to right field. 
Shipman has a read on it, and that retires the shot. So it's two runs on four base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. We've played two full. Northwest Arkansas out in front, two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Buck Britton, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Buck Britton. First pitch on its way. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Well, right now he is just carving him up, dare I say, like a Thanksgiving turkey. That's seven strikeouts already, and he's made it look easy so far. Daniel Robertson will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. After walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half out. Bases are empty, one man out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Chop foul wide of first. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Calling for it, Fernandez. Oh no, it drops! Around first, digging for two now. Well, I'm not sure exactly what the issue on this play was. He doesn't have too far to go to get this thing, and it looked like the ball was right in his sights the entire way, but it just didn't want to stick in his glove. Maybe he should take the trampoline out of his glove. Into the box, Nunez, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Runner at second here with one man out. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Mark Krause, the hitter now. 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game. So let's see if he can come through with that one right here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. And he lays off for ball one. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now. That's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over.
A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. The three of us are back with more following this. Number 40 stands in. Leading off for the Naturals. First baseman. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And he comes up empty there on a pitch in the dirt and falls behind now one and two. Yeah, it's so hard to stay back against a guy like this. Unless you guess right, that thing's just so slow that it's almost impossible to keep from getting out on your front foot. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Line toward center field and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Well, this is already a 2 nothing game, and now the leadoff man's on again here to start the third. We've got a chance now to really open things up early and build up a nice, comfortable lead. Carlos Piguero steps into the box. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Nobody out, runner on first. Ground ball right side. Reined in. The second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Oh, there is so much that can go wrong with this play right here. This will give us a great angle to look at it. Look where he fields this thing. Then as he goes to throw it, stop it right there. He's got no real direct lane to the bag. Now, we've seen guys screw this up all the time. They throw it off the runner's back. They hit someone's helmet. Anything can go wrong. But he's able to avoid that danger here as he gets that force at second base. In now, Brett Hayes. Now a swing and a ball hit in the air down the left field line. And that is down as that could be two bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. And I think that may have been a situation where the runner at first had to wait and see if that ball was going to get caught or not. If there's two away, most likely he scores easily. Instead, they have to wind up holding him at third base. I got to tell you, if that were me standing on second base right now, I'd be saying, yo, where's my RBI? Standing in now, Hernandez. As you look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Well, I just don't think he was expecting that one, and it was the perfect time to just take a little off. The set and the 1-1 one -one pitch. Oh, that grounder got him. No play as the run comes in to score, and we're all hoping he's going to be okay on the mound. Well, you know all the infielders are taught to try and knock the ball down in that RBI situation. But here on the mound, I don't think he had any choice. This one comes back at him and gets him flush. By the time they all scramble around to find the ball, they have no chance of preventing that run from scoring.
Into the box now, number seven, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And, you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. And I think that's been a big part of the problem so far. He just can't locate his fastball, especially in situations where he has to. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Oof. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up, and that's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. Swung on and missed three and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. Yeah, I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Swing and a liner. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll played one for sure and maybe a second. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Well, let's zoom way in on the baseball here. This is going to give us a nice shot of whether this is fair or foul. And you can see, there's no question, that ball kicks up from chalk. And if it's on the line, it's fair. He'll head into second base with an RBI double. Stepping in now, number 43, as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. Well, you know, three straight hits are bad enough, but now he's making things even worse by falling behind the next guy. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. This is line to left. Kraus is there. Let's see if they test it. But I don't think he had designs on even really trying it as he retreats with two away now. Here's another instance of a ball actually hit too hard to try to score on. He doesn't have to go all that far to make the play here, so it's probably a wise decision not to test his arm. In now, Mike Durham, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. And this is a spot where you got a chance to put away a team early. So this becomes a very important at bat for both teams. Second and third, two away. Skied into straightaway right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And the run is in to score from third. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 6 nothing ball game. You want to put a big smile on the face of your starting pitcher? Give him a six-run lead early on and see what you get. He's got to be loving this right now, and I got a feeling they're not done scoring runs for him yet. Now here comes the skipper out of the third base dugout, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Bobby Wall is going to come on to pitch here and seeing as though it's just the third inning, he may be asked to work for a while. Number five will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. He's set and the pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one.
four runs here in this half inning. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Third double of the game for these guys as you see the comparison there. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. This is flared out towards second. Throw in time and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through three full here in game number four. The Naturals lead it six to nothing. Christian Walker will come forward now to start the inning, and with his guys down six in the early going, they're going to need to put something together here or risk being blown out. Yeah, and I think the big thing here is you've got to come up with something, even if it's just one run. You got to let those guys over there know that you haven't given up and that you're going to fight them until the last out. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. That trying to go front door with that breaking ball started it a little too far inside, though. To two and two now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now. 10 strikeouts for him thus far. Now batting. All right, folks. Montage alert. Here you get a look at his performance so far. 10 strikeouts for him in the ball game as he continues to just plow right through this lineup one after another. Into the box, Justin Henry. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0 1. Oh, 1, here's the pitch. Chopped foul right at home plate. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Fly ball out toward left center field. Pogero has it in his tracks. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, number 17. Number 17 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Now here it comes. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. 
the 0 2 home. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Number 25. He'll dig in. He's one for two in the ball game. Right fielder, number 25. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, he can't hold on there as he swings and misses on a pitch in the dirt, and he's down 0-2 now. Boy, when he's got that thing going good, it just takes a nosedive right at the end. And he misses there, 1-2. and two. A Good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. And now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. Swing and a liner back through the box. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. And you can tell when these guys have gone up to the plate, they've had a plan. They're just not wildly swinging, hoping for things to work out. They've been looking for specific pitches in specific locations. The advanced scouts, they've earned their pay in this one. Number 40 steps in now. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. This fourth inning's not starting out any better than the third did. A runner at first with no outs here. There's that slider truly in an unhittable spot. It's one and one. Hot shot to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by in the base hit. Yeah, that was always going to be a tough play right there. This gets on him so quick. If he finds a way to snare it, then it's going to be a double play. Instead, they've got something going now with two men on. Standing in now, Carlos Peguero, as he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Coming to the plate now, Brett Hayes. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And remember, he jumped all over that first pitch. So don't be surprised if he does it here again. He waits. Now the pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Well, right here is where you've got to be smart out there. They've got nowhere to put you, so we probably won't be working the corners. Here comes the 1-0. Up the middle and off his leg. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Well, you know all the infielders are taught to try and knock the ball down in that RBI situation. But here on the mound, I don't think he had any choice. This one comes back at him and gets him flush. And by the time they all scramble around to find the ball, they have no chance of preventing that run from scoring.
Into the box now, Hernandez, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? Runners are at second and third with one down. Hit hard to the right side. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Yeah, and unless he was going on his own down there at third, they were using that contact play where you're told wherever and whenever the ball's hit, you're off and running. You're not even paying attention to what's going on. You've got to go. They love to play an aggressive style on the bases, and it gets them a run right there. Stepping in now, number seven. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We played four full. Northwest Arkansas out in front, eight to nothing. Ken Favreau will stand in to lead things off here, and his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Oh, this guy has been amazing. He's thrown a first pitch strike to around 80% of the batters he faced. And we're in the middle innings now, so you know he's doing well. Good cutter there, and he's got him behind the eight ball now, 0-2. Two. two pitches right on the outside corner. If he's going to keep looking at him, they might as well just stay out there. Why not? Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Well, there's some mind games going on right there. They go away on the first two pitches. You know, then he's probably looking away again. Boom, then they bust him in. It's go grab some bench. Into the box, Aaron Shipman. As he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. And it's quickly 0 and 2. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now a look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Buck Britton will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And now pitch on the way. Swung on and missed for the first strike. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Ball Trying one. to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Not too sure how you take that one on 0-2. Yeah, not too sure how you call it a ball either.
Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Number 43 will dig in one for two thus far. Northwest Arkansas. Designated hitter. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. A fastball that gets the inside corner strike one. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground and reined in one away. Now batting. And I think anytime you hit a ball that Michael softly on a Jones. fastball, you can pretty much bet you were either jammed on it or got caught reaching. And here you can see as this pitch ties him up inside, he's not able to get the sweet spot on the baseball. Standing in now, Mike Durham. As he swings and hits a line drive out to left. That's in for a base hit and he's two for three. Oh, and this ball center cut right here. Got it right on the barrel. He just drills it into left field for a one out single. Number five stands in. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit hard to short. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. Now batting, number 25. Number 25 will bat down two for three in the ballgame. Has been solid at the plate for his team. One of the better performers in their lineup, I'd say. He's set. Here it comes. And that's in there for a strike. Now both runners are breaking. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0-2. Shot foul at the plate and would do it again. Here's the 0 and 2. Lays off that time and it's 1 and 2. Still now on 1 and 2, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now the runners take off again. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second, and the run will score all the way from first. It's a 10 0 score. More of the same right here, and that puts them into double digits now. 10 runs scored, and they've really had their way with this pitching staff all throughout. Number 40 will stand in working on a three hit ball game now. Well, he's feeling very comfortable in the box, too, and that's pretty obvious. They might try to move him off the plate here a little bit or something. Now, time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. fly ball out to straightaway center. Henry is there. Two gone. 
Boy, these are the kind of days where even I want to grab a bat. Everybody on that offense is hitting the ball hard somewhere. Carlos Piguero gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Yeah, and that's the swing of a guy hoping for a first pitch curveball right there. If he gets it, he hammers it. If not, He's about three feet too late. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. Make it big. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hard liner to center field, and that's in there. Base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Yeah, and you know, he just couldn't put them away here with two strikes. He goes to the fastball, hoping to get out of the inning, but this is hit pretty hard, and now he's got a second man on base to deal with, two away. In now, Brett Hayes. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Boy, he's in trouble enough already, and a wild pitch would only make things worse. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Smoke toward third. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Naturals lead it 10 nothing. Daniel Robertson makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. All right, they've got Daniel some work to do here, but there's Robertson. still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0 and 1. And that one cut a little too much, a ball and a strike. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball, it's 2 and 1. And right now, these guys just need something to break their way. A blooper, a bunt, a hit by pitch. Something to get a base runner and give that guy something else to think about out there. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. And the no-hitter is gone. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Nunez will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. And we've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. Come set, now the pitch. Nope. And he lays off there, 1-0. Not the first time he's felt the squeeze tonight. Yeah, he's looking and saying, what do I got to do to get a strike? Ready with the 1-0 pitch. That one's a called strike. Back even at one. 
And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Nobody out, runner on first. To short. Fielded cleanly. Underhanded flip. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Now batting. Left fielder. Mark Brown. Mark Kraus, ready to try again. Struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Now the pitch. Way late on the fastball for strike one. right by him here and he's set up for another strikeout here the count to 0 and 2 and that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing he's just lived on that outside corner and it's paid big dividends for him and he's gonna add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning Smith will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Hernandez ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. First pitch is a breaking ball taken down and away for ball one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, not close on either of these first two pitches. I mean, he's going to have to find the release point quick before he loses the leadoff guy. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. One thing that man right there will not tolerate, leadoff walks. Especially right out of the bullpen. This might be a quick outing if that happens. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. It's hard to believe that for all the runs that have been scored, this is just their first walk of the ball game. What they've gotten, they've had to earn it, and they're going to get another base runner right now. Number seven will be the batter, two for three with a double thus far. Yeah, he's looked very settled in at the plate in this one. He could have a little more in store for us right here. Pause. Now the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Again, a nice clean base hit. His third of the game. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Yeah, he's swinging a pretty hot bat here. Three for four now after the base hit. That wasn't a little bleeder. That ball was smoked. Stepping in now, number 43, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Hit to short, scooped up, one there. On to first, and they get them both. Striding in once again, Mike Durham. He singled his last time up. And they take another single right here, too, no doubt. Runner in scoring position, so any ball into the outfield probably gets him home. He's ready. Now the pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. A man on third with two down.
Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole 0-2. A lot of people think that pitch will burn straight down, but it will work back a little bit towards righties, like that one did right there. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Back here for Texas League Baseball on the show. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Christian Walker is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. Well, you're facing a pretty big deficit in this game, so they need to start clawing their way back. and a strike yet again another first pitch strike and it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is you establish the count in your favor right away and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward right over the top with that curveball and it's 0 2 and it looks like the scouting report says work this guy away and it's been paying off uh, and whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Yeah, and guys, there's a look center at his line through the first few innings. Just Pretty in dominant Henry. so far. Just the second hit he's allowed tonight. And the first one didn't wind up hurting him at all. So we'll see if he can get out of this inning as well. Justin Henry will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Going for his 15th strikeout. And here's a ball hit in the air. Durham has room in foul territory. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Oh, two delivery. Got him. Three. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Now he continues to pitch well out there. Here's his pitch number breakdown 17. so far. Number 17 will dig in. 0 for 2 with two strikeouts thus far. Yeah, a tough one to play for him so far with the two punch outs, but hey. That's going to happen to you at times, and you just have to have a short memory in this game. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. He's now thrown a first pitch strike to about 80% of the batters he's faced, and that is, that is just pounding the strike zone. He's pitching so well, and this game's getting late. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh. 
And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. Another guy retired there. You see his pitching line to this point. It's phenomenal. Just two hits. Both of them are singles. And he's hardly even been in trouble. Thorough domination so far. Ken Favreau ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. And this offense has just been stuck in neutral. Even when they get a guy on to start the inning, they've got nothing to go with it. Two out with the man at first. Grounded to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Not really all that tough of play heading up the middle, but you see it takes a funny little hop there at the end, and this will be scored as an error. Aaron Shipman will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. front of it strike one two men are on with two men out another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2 and you can add one more 17 for the ball game as that ends the inning it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Number five steps into the box. Leading off for the Naturals. Second baseman, number five. And the pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Shipman ranging forward, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it and running it down. Into the box now, number 25. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. That's wide, 2-0. line drive to center field and that's another base hit for him he's on a tear in this one whoa that's what you call chuck and duck right there this ball's going to come screaming right back at him he doesn't have any time to get the glove up and it gets safely on into center field into the box number 40 Slider and look out that's up in the danger zone well, nothing wrong with that as much as it pains me to say the pitchers have the right to work inside runners on first with one down perhaps a little low there it's two and oh
Look out. All over the place now. 3-0. and oh, And even though that's not intentional, as a hitter, you still hate to see that ball up around your eyes. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. The left fielder, number eight, Carlos. Stepping Pagero. up now, Carlos Peguero. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Henry is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Hayes gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. One and one, here it comes. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Two down, runners at first and second. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Scott Alexander will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Alexander. Buck Britton will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined, so apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. And this will be fouled away. Hey. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Try to change of pace with two strikes there, but it misses one and two. Mm, tough pitch to lay off there with two strikes. I'm not sure if that was a good take or whether he just got fooled on a changeup and couldn't pull the trigger. One and two, here it comes. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Daniel Robertson steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Hey. 
Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0-2. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Something to be said for home cooking, apparently, as you get a look at our line score. This one never in doubt, as the home standing nine have outplayed their guests in every facet of the game. Nunez will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Pogero is there, and that's the third out. So nothing happening this time around. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Northwest Arkansas out in front, 10-0. Hernandez will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. hit the other way out toward right field. Shipman is right there. One pitch, one away. Now batting, number seven. Number seven digs in here. Three hits, including a double to this point. Yeah, swinging it very well up there right now. I got to tell you, three hit games always feel good. Now a breaking ball here, and it's whacked into left center for a base hit. The batter, number 43. Number 43 steps in now. He's set now the pitch and he starts the number eight hitter with a strike nothing in one grilled right back up the middle that's through he's got a base hit his second in this one two for five now yeah he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Standing in now, Mike Durham. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. But fortunately here, no advance. One and zero delivery. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Henry giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. And he'll take those extra 90 feet. So put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. A little bit of a risk there with two away. You don't want to run yourself into a double play to end the inning, but he's able to make it up there, and that puts runners on the corners now with two outs. Number five stands in. Touch 
And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Mm. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. Runners at the corners, two men out. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Two tough sliders there back to back, and he couldn't get him to bite on either. Now he might have to change tack here down 2 0. Now a throw over, but the runner's back easily. Just checking. Lofted in the air, out toward right center. Shipman sprinting after it. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Number 38 will come in and pitch now. now. Pitching for the Naturals, number 38. Mark Kraus will be the one to start things off with his guys in need of a ninth inning rally here if they're going to force a game five. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Oh, you like the way this guy is just going about his business here. He's got a big lead, but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. A reminder that post-game highlights will follow the conclusion of this playoff matchup, so stick around right after this one ends. Christian Walker digs in, coming off a single in his last at-bat. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Oh, Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Well, he really bunched him up on that two-seam fastball right there. It's not a very confident swing either, and the result, just an easy ground ball. Justin Henry will stand in, and their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out.
Here's the first pitch. Here's a two seamer inside to start the at bat. It's one and oh. Swing and a miss for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch him. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.